Hi guys, so today I am here with a new name video for you. I know that it has been a long time since I have sat down and filmed a name video. So today I thought I would just do a fun update of my top favorite name combinations since I haven't done a video on my favorite names for a while and usually I do an update a couple times a year and my name combinations have changed quite a bit in the last year or the last even six months. So I thought it'd be really fun to share them with you just to kind of get back in the swing of making videos. So I'm just going to go right ahead and start with my top 10 favorite girls combinations. So at number 10, I have a brand new combination and that is Eliza Gwenthian. Um, Eliza is of course a short form of Elizabeth and for a long time I wanted to use Elizabeth with the nickname Eliza but I think Eliza on its own is also just very spunky and fresh and sweet and my mom's name is Elizabeth so using Eliza would kind of distinguish from Elizabeth and then the middle name Gwenlian or Gwenlian as it would be um, anglicized to is actually a name from my family tree and it's a Welsh name so that's why it has that pronunciation, um, that Welsh pronunciation that I'm probably doing very poorly because I'm not Welsh but I'm attempting to do the Welsh pronunciation and it means blessed and flaxen and Gwenllian was a princess in Welsh mythology. At number nine I have Demelza Mercy. Demelza is a Cornish place name and my family before they came and settled in North America actually were from Cornwall. They were miners in Cornwall so I love that tie and that little bit of honoring my family heritage. Um, so Demelza is a Cornish place name and I love that it sounds spunky and princessy at the same time. It still sounds like a princess name but it kind of has a little bit of spunk to it. And there are also so many nickname possibilities for the name Demelza like Demi or Mel or Melza. And then I love Mercy in the middle name spot. It's one of my favorite virtue names and I think it works really well as a middle name for Demelza. At number eight, I have Priscilla Jeanette. Priscilla is a name that appears in the New Testament. Paul actually lives with Priscilla and her husband in Corinth. And I think that that's a really, really cool um, biblical association and Priscilla was a really popular name among Puritans and now it's starting to come back. I think it just has a really beautiful old-fashioned sound to it. I love the nickname Prilly or Scylla. Um, there's a lot of nicknames you can get from Priscilla. And then Jeanette is a name that I love because of the Christmas carol, Bring a Torch, Jeanette Isabella, which is a traditional French Christmas carol that is my mom's favorite Christmas carol and it's one that I grew up always singing and always loving, so I just think it would make a really beautiful middle name choice to kind of honor my mom and her love of that song and I think it would be a really great name to use for a little girl born around Christmas time. So I really love that combination, Priscilla Jeanette. At number seven, I have Jerusha Pearl. I think this name sounds like royalty. And that might be partly because Jerusha was the name of a, of a queen in the Old Testament. Jerusha means wife, and it is such an underused biblical name and I think it is so stunningly beautiful. And then Pearl to me is the perfect middle name. It can honor anyone named Margaret or Megan or any other name that means Pearl and it can also honor anyone who is born in the month of June since it is the birthstone for that month. I just think it makes a really beautiful middle name and I love Jerusha Pearl as a combination. 
My next name combination is one that shows you don't have to just use names from one part of the world. You can use names from several parts of the world and combine them to make one stunning combination and that is Arianwin Amira. So Arianwin is a rare Welsh name that means silver and fair and Amira is a gorgeous Arabic name that means princess and I think Together, these names make the most magical, princessy, fairy tale name. I love wind names because they just kind of have that beautiful fairy tale quality to them. And I've always loved Ariana, but it is a little popular right now, and I think Arianwin is a very, very pretty alternative. And then Amira is an Arabic name that actually means princess. So I think it is one of the most princessy names on my list, Arianwin Amira. I just love it. At number five, I have a name that has been on my list for a little while now, and that is Cressida Glory. Cressida is a Greek name that means golden, and I love that altogether this name would mean golden glory. I just love the images that I have associated with that. Um, there's a character in the Hunger Games novels named uh, Cressida, and then there is also a Shakespearean play called Troilus and Cressida. So this name has been used for a long time and is still being used in modern time in modern literature. And then glory is probably my favorite word or virtue, one of my favorite word or virtue names. Um, I love using word and virtue names in the middle name spot and I think Cressida Glory is just absolutely beautiful and I would love to use it for a daughter one day. At number four I have Hadassah Muriel. Hadassah is the Hebrew name of Queen Esther from the book of Esther in the Bible. Hadassah means myrtle tree and it's one that you wouldn't expect to be in the top 1,000, but it's actually at number 701 in popularity in the U.S., which I think a lot of people might find surprising. Esther Hadassah um, is one of my favorite female role models from the Bible because she's somebody who grows up not expecting to have this great influential life, but when she does become queen, she uses her influence to do great things for other people and I think she is a wonderful role model. And then Muriel is the name of my great-grandmother who lived to be 101 and she was just an amazing person and definitely someone who I consider to be a personal role model. And Muriel is a form of Mary and it means bright and shining sea. At number three, I have Carenza Maud. Carenza is another Cornish name. This is another nod to my Cornish heritage. My family lived in Cornwall, and then they actually moved to Iowa and lived there for about 100 years before they moved up to Canada, where we live now. So um, that's kind of our family history, and Maud was the middle name of my great-great-grandmother Hannah Maud, but she usually went by Maud, and she was born in Iowa and immigrated up here to Canada. My second favorite girl's name is still Octavia Dove. Octavia is a Latin name that means eight. This name isn't in the top 1,000 currently, but I wouldn't be surprised if in the next five years Octavia does enter the top 1,000. I have been hearing quite a bit of buzz about this name, and I think there are some like-minded people out there who also have it on their list for future daughters. And then Dove is a nature name, of course. And it was also the middle name of my great-grandmother, Anna Dove, who was affectionately called Dove or Dovey, which I think would make a very sweet nickname for someone with the middle name Dove. And of course, my favorite name combination is still Antonia Winter. This has been my top combo 
For several years, Antonia is a Latin name of unknown origin, but it possibly means priceless. And Antonia is back in the top 1,000. It is number 975. But it is mm, by no stretch of the imagination popular. It's just in the top 1,000. I don't know if it's going to go up or down in popularity. What I love about Antonia is that it is a very princessy, grand name, but it is also one that is very accessible and I could imagine it on a lawyer or on a ballerina or on an artist. I think it would age very well. And then winter is of course a season name and I love it in the middle name spot. As a first name, it, it is rising in popularity. It is at number 556. I love it in the middle name spot and I love the way Antonia Winter sounds. So now on to the boys names. At number 10, for boys I have Sebastian Clive. Sebastian means venerable and it used to be my favorite boys name but it has become very popular and is all the way up at number 34 in popularity, which is just a little bit too popular for me to consider using, but I still love it. So it's still in my top 10. And then Clive, I think is a really cool name to use as a middle name. And Clive um, is an old English surname that means Cliff. And it is also the first name of author C.S. Lewis, who wrote the Narnia books. So I think that association is very cool. At number nine, I have a very literary name and that is Almanzo Vincent. It's also a very, very handsome name. Almanzo comes from an Arabic name and means victorious. And in the Laura Ingalls Wilder, Little House on the Prairie books, this is the name of her husband. And then Vincent also means to conquer or to be victorious. So they have the same sort of meaning. And it comes from the name of my favorite poet, Edna St. Vincent Millay. And she was known to most of her friends as Vincent. So I think this combo is very literary and also very, very handsome, Almanzo Vincent. At number eight, I have Lemuel Boaz. Lemuel means belonging to God, and Lemuel was a king in the Old Testament. He is most well known for his mother who tells him what to look for in a wife. It's also the name of the hero in Jonathan Swift's Gulliver's Travels. His name is Lemuel Gulliver, which I think is such a cool name that is a very cool name for the hero of a story. And then Boaz is, of course, the husband of Ruth in the Old Testament. And Boaz, to me, has a very sort of different and kind of exotic sound. I love the Z at the end. At number seven, I have Gideon Arthur. I love both of these names so much individually, and I love them together. I, I just yeah, I really like both of these names. <laughs> Gideon means hewer, and it is the name of a hero in the Old Testament and was a popular name among the Puritans, but it is definitely starting to make a comeback. It is now number 349, and I think this is a name that a lot of my name friends really like. Arthur is, of course, a Celtic name that means bear. Of course, I think of King Arthur and the Knights of the Round Table. It's just very, very handsome and kingly and regal to me. And it's also a family name for me, so that's a good association. At number six, I have Alistair Moses. Alistair is a Scottish variation of Alexander, which means defender of man. 
My grandfather was adopted and his last name before he was adopted was McAllister. So this name is to kind of honor that part of my family heritage. And then Moses is one of my favorite biblical names and I love it as a middle name. At number five, I have Kingsley Amos. Kingsley is an English name that means from the King's Meadow. I fell in love with this name when I first heard it in Harry Potter when I was a young teenager. Kingsley is number 760 in popularity and Amos is a name that I've really been loving recently. It's the name of a book in the Bible about the prophet Amos and it was also a name that was popular among the Puritans. And I kind of like that it has the same AM beginning as Amelia. Um, there aren't too many boys' names that have that AM sound at the beginning. <laughs> at number four, I have Ferdinand Tavish. Ferdinand is a German name that means bold voyager. I love, love that meaning so much. And this is also a Shakespearean name. Tavish is a Scottish variant of Thomas that means twin and honors the many grandfathers and great grandfathers named Thomas in my family. My mum's father is Thomas and his father is Thomas and my dad's grandfather is Thomas and his father is Thomas and his father is Thomas. Um, there's about 20 Thomases in my family tree and I love Tavish as a way to honor all of them. At number three, I have Rafferty Knox. Rafferty is an Irish name that means abundance. I love the sound of Rafferty and I love the nickname Raff or Riff Raff. And then Knox is my grandma's maiden name and it is a Scottish name that means round hill. At number two, I have Lazarus Job. These are two of my very favorite biblical names. Lazarus is the name of two men in the Bible, Lazarus the beggar and Lazarus of Bethany. Lazarus means God has helped, so it has a really great meaning as well. And I love the stories of both Lazarus the beggar and Lazarus of Bethany. Um, both very inspiring stories. And then Job doesn't have the greatest meaning, it means persecuted, but Job is probably one of my favorite books in the Bible. Um, Job is a man who loses everything he has but still has his love for the Lord. And there are a lot of wonderful lessons that can be learned from the story of Job. And I love the sound of Lazarus. It just has such a different sound. Um, I think it is a very cool name. And my favorite boy's name is still Caspian Jericho. Caspian is my favorite boy's name of all time. It is a name from C.S. Lewis's Narnia series. And as well, it is a geographic place name. Caspian means of the Caspi people. And Jericho is my brother's middle name, and it is also a place name. It is an Arabic name, and it means city of the moon. So those were my updated top 10 favorite names for girls and top 10 favorite names for boys. I would love to know what names you are loving right now. So let me know in the comments below and we can talk names because I love to hear from you guys and hear what names you are loving. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will talk to you later. Bye.